YouTube for the first time. Yeah. Come in very handy. Yeah. hair you can get a lot less um, bumps and bubbles without um, with the hair being wet instead of dry. It's a little bit easier to play with. Are you gonna have your hair in a bun next? No? You want to clip some fake hair in your hair and give you a bun? <laughs> girls have a lot of hair where if you did that little trick that I showed you with the bobby pin and the hair tie, um, the hair is so thick and if you don't really get all of these knots out when you're combing it like this, it's almost kind of better off because when you put that pin in, you're going to have something to grab onto. So mm -hmm. you, you want that hair tie in there or something like that to really help you. And that way here too, when you take it out, you see when you take that out, you can just Pull out the pin, and then you're no no fussing with the this hurts that you're pulling the hair tie out. Let's see. Can you see from that angle? Can you see from that angle? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. hair tie itself? Is it a certain kind of hair tie that you're using? No, you just want something that's not going to really break. Something that's nice and strong. So it doesn't really matter the hair tie. I don't recommend the rubber band just because it pulls. You're better off with the cloth. Complain when somebody else does it. Now some of the the kids they get to play Julie in the morning when they're getting their hair done. <laughs> One of my customers sent me a picture of her son combing his bigger sister's hair. <laughs> <laughs> pretty firm brush because as you're pulling all that hair you really want to make sure that you get a lot of those bumps and bubbles out from here so you do get a nice smooth ponytail. If you have a softer brush and you can't really pull the rest of that hair underneath there and get it smooth, when you go to put your hair tie in you're going to get those little bit of bumps.
sometimes it might be easier if you ask her to just hold it for you so you can reposition yourself to get it where you need to. Some of the little bumps, I do comb a little bit of them. Like I said, if you're going to have like a little bubble that you're trying to hide like right here, you can just put a pin over it because then the bun is going to kind of cover that a little so you're not going to see it as much. So I'm going to slide it. about anything. Easier said than done, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to try it after Julie finishes? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know there was going to be a test, right? <laughs> So easy. So then we secure. So there's one side of the hairnet and the other side. You kind of just want to take the pin and weave them through there. You can kind of twist them around just to keep the hairnet from opening. to go. You can flatten it out if they don't have as much hair or longer hair and you can hide a little bit in here. And then you kind of just want to grasp where you ended, that little tail there. You want to hook that part in first and then just start securing it all the way around. And if they're in a few different recitals, throw a few extra pins in there just for costume changes and <laughs> 